Welcome to Hangar YouTube channel. Today we will talk about CFM Leap 1A engine oil system. If you like the content in our channel please subscribe by clicking the subscribe button below. First we will identify the components we find in the Leap 1A engine oil system. The system mainly consists of an oil tank, an anti-leakage valve, a lube unit, a servo fuel heater, a surface air cooled oil cooler, a main heat exchanger and oil pressurizing valve, oil sumps, and various valves. The functions of the engine oil system are to lubricate the engine bearings, transfer gear box and main gear box assemblies. Oil system also regulates the temperature of the engine oil with the main fuel oil heat exchanger and the surface air cooling air cooler. System regulates the fuel system with the servo fuel heater. The oil system scavenges the hot lubrication oil back to the tank and vents overboard the excess of sealing air from the bearing compartments via the center vent body. Oil flows from the pressurized oil tank to the dual lube pump in the lubrication unit. The inlet on the lubrication unit is fitted with an anti-leakage valve ALV, to avoid oil to flow by gravity from the tank to the lube unit and end up in the accessory gearbox AGV. The pressurized oil is directed to the supply oil filter and then to the heat exchangers via a non-return valve NRV. The NRV prevents oil from draining from heat exchangers, which are located above the supply pump down to the AGV through the lube unit. The oil is cooled down when passing through the servo fuel heater, the surface air cooled oil cooler, and the main heat exchanger. The oil pressurizing valve OPV, at the oil outlet of the main heat exchanger enables pressurized oil to feed the engine oil dampers. The lubrication unit has five scavenge pumps that are used to pull scavenge oil from the sumps A, B, C, and the gearboxes, TGB and AGB. To protect the scavenge pumps from large debris, strainers are installed in the lube unit upstream each pump. A provision for magnetic chip detectors installation is also included in the strainer assemblies. The scavenge line is connected to the oil tank through the deaerator, a static air oil separator. It is fitted with a tank pressurizing valve TDV, and an oil debris monitoring sensor ODMS. The mist of air and oil is centrifugally separated. The oil is directed to the ODMS and then collected in the tank, whereas part of the air is used to pressurize the tank and the excess is vented to the AGV thanks to the tank pressurizing valve. Please support our channel by pressing the subscribe button below. You can also join our Facebook page via the link in the description. Thank you and happy flying!